Beneath the turbulent waters of the English Channel lies a treasure trove of history. In 1740, the Dutch East India Company ship Ruschweg set sail for the Far East carrying a fortune in silver, copper, and other valuable cargo. But fate had other plans. The ship met its tragic end off the Goodwin Sands, a treacherous area known for swallowing ships whole. For centuries, the Ruschweg lay undisturbed, its cargo and secrets hidden under layers of shifting sand and sea. In recent years, archaeologists embarked on a daring mission to uncover the sunken vessel. What they discovered wasn't just a wealth of treasure, it was a window into the world of 18th century trade, smuggling, and the lives of those who risked everything on the high seas. Join us as we dive into the depths, exploring the mysteries and untold stories of the Ruschweg shipwreck. What drove the men aboard to risk their lives, and what secrets did they take to their watery graves? The Goodwin Sands is a place feared by sailors for generations. Known as the Ship Swallower, this deadly stretch of shifting sandbanks off the coast of Kent has claimed thousands of vessels throughout history. In 1740, the Ruschweg became another tragic addition to its list of victims. Loaded with a rich cargo destined for the Dutch colonies in the East Indies, the ship set sail with high hopes and great expectations. But as it crossed the perilous waters of the English Channel, a fierce storm swept in and the Ruschweg was doomed. The ship's fate was sealed as the storm raged. The crew fought desperately against the waves, but nothing could save them. As the ship's hull cracked and the icy water poured in, it was clear that there would be no escape. The Ruschweg, with its crew and cargo, disappeared beneath the waves. For centuries, the ship lay in silence. Buried in the depths, its precious cargo left untouched by time. Fast forward to the present day, when a team of archaeologists and divers, braving the same treacherous waters, launched a mission to uncover the shipwreck and its hidden treasures. What they found was beyond anyone's expectations. The first sign of the Ruschweg's lost treasure came in the form of silver. As divers began to explore the wreckage, they discovered vast amounts of Spanish silver coins scattered across the ocean floor. These coins, minted in faraway Mexico and Bolivia, were a key part of the Dutch East India Company's trade system. The silver was meant to be traded in exchange for spices, silk, and other exotic goods in the East Indies. But there was something unusual about the silver. It wasn't all official cargo. As the archaeologists dug deeper, they found coins that didn't belong to the Dutch East India Company. These coins, of different origins and designs, suggested something far more intriguing. Smuggling. Many of the sailors aboard the Ruschweg had brought their own silver, stashed away in hidden compartments, hoping to make a personal fortune in the East Indies. This practice, though illegal, was common at the time. The risks were immense, but the rewards were far too tempting to ignore. The sheer volume of silver found in the wreckage was staggering. Piles of coins, some in clusters, others scattered as if dropped in panic during the ship's final moments, revealed the desperate attempts of the crew to save their fortunes as the ship went down. But it wasn't just silver. Archaeologists uncovered copper sheeting, used as building material in the colonies, and other valuable goods that were to be traded in the East. This was more than just a commercial venture. It was a race for wealth, a high-stakes gamble where lives were often the price paid. The discovery of smuggled silver revealed the dark underbelly of 18th century trade. The Dutch East India Company, one of the world's first multinational corporations, was a powerhouse in global commerce, but corruption and personal greed often undermined its operations. The sailors aboard the Ruschweg were no strangers to this reality. While the official cargo was accounted for, the personal wealth of the crew was hidden away, concealed from the prying eyes of the company officials. Smuggling was a common practice, especially on voyages to the East Indies. Silver was worth far more in the colonies than in Europe, and the crew knew that they could turn a hefty profit by bringing their own coins along. But smuggling came with its own risks. If caught, the sailors faced severe punishment. Yet, the promise of fortune was too alluring, and many crew members took the gamble, hiding their silver wherever they could. Under floorboards, inside barrels, and even within their own belongings. As the divers explored the wreck, they found more evidence of these hidden treasures. 
coins were discovered in unexpected places, and the sheer variety of currencies suggested that smuggling was widespread. The Ruschweg wasn't just a ship on a trade mission, it was a floating bank, carrying the hopes and dreams of its crew along with its official cargo. The crew's personal fortunes weren't as limited to silver. Among the wreckage, archaeologists found everyday items that spoke to the sailors' lives on board. Leather shoes, belt buckles, clay pipes, and even pottery provided a glimpse into the world of these men who had left everything behind in search of wealth. Life aboard an East India Company ship was anything but easy. The Rooshvake's crew faced not only the dangers of the sea, but the constant threat of disease, piracy, and conflict. The discovery of weaponry among the wreckage, including cannons and muskets, revealed the ship's preparedness for battle. Pirates roamed the waters, ready to attack any vessel carrying valuable cargo. The Rooshvake, laden with silver and copper, was a prime target. The crew also had to contend with the harsh realities of life at sea. Archaeologists found evidence of the ship's provisions. Barrels filled with salted meat and fish, water casks to keep the crew hydrated on long voyages, and even a pewter plate, suggesting that officers dined separately from the rest of the men. The divide between the officers and crew was clear, with officers enjoying better accommodations and meals, while the lower-ranking sailors endured cramped and unsanitary conditions. Yet, despite the hardships, life on board had its moments of camaraderie. The discovery of personal items such as a shoe buckle and a clay pipe hinted at the small pleasures the men allowed themselves. Smoking a pipe on deck, sharing stories of home, and looking forward to the fortune that awaited them in the colonies. These were the moments that sustained the crew through the long, grueling journey. But as the storm descended upon the Ruschweg that fateful night, none of that mattered. The crew, officers and sailors alike, found themselves at the mercy of the sea. As the ship's timbers cracked and the waters rushed in, the men must have known that their fate was sealed. The personal belongings they had carried with them, their hopes and dreams of wealth, were lost to the depths. The excavation of the Ruschweg wasn't without its challenges. The Goodwin Sands are notorious for their shifting tides and unpredictable weather, making it difficult for divers to access the wreck. But the team, determined to uncover the ship's secrets, pressed on. Using giant suction tubes, known as airlifts, they cleared away the sand that had buried the ship for centuries. As they dug deeper, the full extent of the Ruschweg's cargo was revealed. Copper sheets, carefully stacked in the ship's hold, were meant for building colonial settlements in the Dutch East Indies. These materials were invaluable, not just for trade, but for the expansion of European power in the region. The ship was carrying the future of the Dutch Empire. As the archaeologists pieced together the story of the Ruschweg, one question remained. Why did the ship go down? The storm that struck the Ruschweg was fierce, but was there more to the story? Was the ship overloaded with cargo, its hull weakened by the sheer weight of the copper and silver it carried? Or was the Ruschweg's fate sealed by the actions of the crew, desperate to protect their personal fortunes as the ship sank? The final moments of the Ruschweg remain a mystery. But the clues uncovered during the excavation have brought us closer to understanding the risks and rewards of life in the 18th century maritime world. The Rougevake was more than just a ship. It was a symbol of the ambition, greed, and danger that defined an era of global trade. As the excavation continues, who knows what other secrets the Rougevake will reveal? One thing is certain. The waters of the Goodwin Sands still hold mysteries waiting to be uncovered. If you enjoyed this deep dive into maritime history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment below on what you think might still be hidden beneath the waves, and make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any future discoveries. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.